Hello, hello, Simone here and welcome back to another Scale It Down process video. Together with Susanna, we are trying to tackle stitching in a traveler's notebook and I have to admit it is hard. I'm just showing you the things that I'm using here. Um, the the idea for this whole thing came from that journaling card that says watching while I work and it is a Feed Your Craft and Brandy Kincaid, I think from the Show and Tell um, kit. I really love this card and when I saw it, I immediate, immediately thought of, well, whenever I am creative, yeah, creating, creative, working on my computer anywhere <laughs> um, where I don't need to use my brain, I am watching scrap mostly scrapbooking some planner videos on YouTube. That's like ever since I started scrapbooking, um, that's what I did while I created. And so this is, I call it work. Maybe it's um, something that I do in my spare time. Well, not really. I try really to schedule it in, in my morning time so that my kids are not at home. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. And so this is, I really wanted to journal about this. And yeah, why did I choose this for stitching? Because I had the idea when stitching in a traveler's notebook, I don't really want to sew on my pages because you can see it on the other side and I want to use that other side. So my idea was to use stitching on other objects, stuff that I put into my notebook. I really wanted to use stitching on die cuts. I thought maybe if you have floral die cuts and you would um, like stitch around the flower shape or or you could you do that with with leaves or with a title that you follow that would be really a fun idea but i didn't really have anything on on hand that would work for that so when i saw that card i saw that pink thread i think it's actually baker's twine in pink and i just took it apart um i thought well why don't i just see and journal about that the watching while I work because that was just the next best thing and then see how I can incorporate the stitching into this here and watching while I work is supposed to be my title and the next idea that I had was why don't I do something with my stitching to enhance that title it is so small and it would probably get lost if I didn't do something with it. And so the first idea that I had was just put a box around it with stitching, but then um, I really love this zigzag stitch that I just, I just did it. I, the, it's so easy to make that pattern with your uh, stitching or what, what did I use? A hole puncher? not a hole puncher, what a piercing tool. That's what you use, what you say. Um, um, I just made a line, spaced my, tried to space my uh, holes apart equally. And then I just um, added another parallel line to this. And I, in the middle, the thought, the middle between the holes, that's where I stitched on the other line. So you could do, uh, looks like a triangle. That's what I did, diagonal, yeah. So I wanted to use the whole card. Um, I wanted to just add it to my paper, but somehow that felt odd. So I looked through my stamps and I found this feed your craft stamp that is actually I think you could stamp journaling spots with this or I think it is actually three by four size so you could definitely uh, also use this to create your own journaling cards but I just used it for texture on my background basically um, and yeah so I've 
stamped on the bottom right side and on the top left of the card. And then I cut the card apart as you saw and then I placed it um, a bit off the seam so that I would still be able to fold or and open and close my notebook. Um, that is the probably what is the worst part about Travel's notebooks. You can't really bulk up the middle, the close to the seam, just because it just doesn't really work that way. It will bulk up, it won't close anymore. If you have a stapled insert, the pages might fall out. So you really need to be careful um, with how much you bulk you add close to the seam, to the fold. Now this is actually um, the result of a another video that I did. It, for the stash bash group where we were um, using our die cuts and what I did when we I went through all of my die cuts I went through all of them and purged them and put them there and I actually wanted to take a photo and do a giveaway but I haven't so this was on my counter in my pantry where I keep all my craft supplies and I pulled the the card, I found the thread, and then I thought, oh, there's a lot of pink embellishments right on top. Why don't it why don't I just look what what's in there and use what I have there? And ooh, I found a lot of embellishments in there. Maybe I shouldn't give them away and just add them all together and go through them. And you will see later on I use a a heart punch and just punch uh, pink hearts out of another die cut and yeah that is a very easy way uh, to use stuff up that you had forever so you saw me cutting out that heart of a tag from the die cut and once you decide that you don't really use those anymore and you can give them away um, once that ha I do that there is something really strange happening to me at least because then I'm free to just cut it apart and use bits of it because it's not precious anymore. Maybe that's what it is. Suddenly when I let things free, they start, I can suddenly start using them. I don't really know what this is. But it's interesting and if you have a problem with using your die cuts, maybe you should just give yourself permission to throw them away and then just don't throw them away, but use them. <laughs> okay, so I actually, I'm done with my layout. The only thing that I'm doing is adding a really very short phrase of journaling on the bottom two lines of the stamped um, journaling spot. And then I call this done. This actually only took me 24 minutes. And I really love how this turned out. I hope you try it too. You don't really have to do a lot of stitching. It Just enhancing a title could actually do it. Make sure to check out Susanna's video and see what she, what ideas she had for stitching. If you want to keep on watching Traveler's Notebook videos, there is some on screen right now. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.